Hello and welcome to Dirty Secrets of Scotland. This is a series of videos about metal detecting, bottle digging and foraging in Scotland. Scotland has a lot of treasures in its soils, so let's go and find them. <sighs> okay, so here we are uh, in a woodland in Fife. As you can see from the ground, there's pieces of broken stuff here already. This is an old hot water bottle. Anyway, I'm going to dig this up. Hopefully it hasn't been dug before this patch and see what we can find. Nice one. Okay. So I've dug out this rectangle here with the spade. Nice edge round there. And now I'm switching to the fork, the coking fork. It's designed like that so you don't break bottles with the prongs, hopefully. But also um, you can scoop out soil with it as well. So it does both. Here's my first whole bottle out. And I got a bit excited because I thought it was a poison bottle, which are lovely cobalt blue. This is not, it's just an aqua glass bottle that someone's filled with blue paint. Okay, let's keep going. Right behind it, I didn't even see it. It was, still, it was sticking out. So this is, um, I'm hoping it's not plain. It's like a panel bottle or something. Aqua glass, nothing on the sides, nothing on the back. It's plain. It's still a nice bottle though. Got a tiny wee bottle here. A friend of mine collects these though, so I'll take that one home. That's a pity, because that's a nice bottle, or it would have been. A world famed blood mixture, invented by a quack physician back in the Victorian period. Took it himself and eventually it killed him. I see a bottle. Live extraction as they say. That's what it comes out. Is it whole? Yes it's whole. Is it blank? Yes it's blank. Just add this out. It's a cod bottle. Cod's bottle. It's, uh, it's got a marble in here that used to uh, seal the bottle off and stop the um, carbonated drink going flat or getting out. Um, yeah, I've only ever had one of these before. I'm quite new to this, so I'm quite excited about that. Just had this teapot lid out. My granny always used to say to me, you're some teapot lid. I never did figure out what that meant, but uh, yeah, there you go. I just dislodged that. With the fork. I don't even know if it's whole yet. Could be broken. Nope, it looks like it's whole. Cool. It's a bulk ink. Just had this up. It's, uh, I suppose it's some sort of ornament. Um, obviously it's broken. But I might find other bits of it and stick it all back together. Uh, I can't see it though, but let's keep looking. It's a little uh, Victorian clay marble. Used to make them out of clay before they made them out of glass. Just like everything else really. Uh, yeah, I used to find these a lot actually. Yeah, it was a mudlark on the Thames down in London, but uh, when I lived down there. But you get them in the fields as well when you're metal detecting, they're everywhere. So yeah, there you go, little clay marble. Just to show you what I'm digging through here, it would have been much deeper down by now, but look at this. This is all... There's loads of sand in here, but there's also loads of, loads of broken bits. It's just... Crazy. I'm trying to dig through here. But we will get there. Is it whole? Yes. Aqua glass bottle. Does that have anything on it? Yes, it has fellows syrup of hypophosphites. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so that's me at the bottom now. Top, obviously forest floor and then you go down there's like a layer of dark grey to about here and then a, a layer of sort of red ash which means it may have been burned but I haven't seen anything scorched so far and at the bottom you're into just the sand now we've got this probe rod here and I've put that in it's about a foot and a half so I've pushed it down and all it's getting is just resistance of sand there's another way you can tell and this seems pretty weird but if you go and sniff the end <laughs> yes, sniff the end. It um, sometimes smells like burning from the ash layer, and it's in the ash layer that you will find all your bottles. So there you go. Oh, so it's been an enjoyable dig so far. Found some bits and bobs. Really pleased with that cod bottle. I think it's actually a bubble in there. I don't think it's a crack, so I'm chuffed with that. I'm just going to keep digging now, and uh, well, first I have a little drink because I've uh, got down to the bottom now, so. Have a little seat, have a little snack, have a little drink of water, and then I will crack on. But hopefully not crack bottles. That could be the new catchphrase. <laughs> this is just an aqua glass bottle stopper here. 
but I always keep them because you might find the bottle later. Look at that. Found a wee figurine of a man without a head. What does a man without a head say? What's this then? Is it whole? It is whole. No, no, it's not whole. It's got a hole in it, but it's not whole. Oh, and it's nice as well. It's got writing on it. Grass Pharmacy in Can. It's from Can. Just pulled this out. It's from Edinburgh. Skittle bottle. It's broken, unfortunately. That would have gone straight in the collection. It was a JW Carmichael. I'm sure it would have said Carmichael, though. Got some in here. Anyway, though. Car. I've dug underneath it, so it should just pull it. It should. I should just pull out, but I won't pull out. There we go. It's a full ball. It's like the one I found before. It's got a twin now. Nothing on it though. But, oh, come on! Ah, that's a pity. I thought maybe I'd done that by pulling it out, but nah. It's got dirt on the inside of the seam. Oh well, it doesn't have a twin now. It's got a smashed mate. <laughs> Haven't we all been there? <laughs> it's only a broken ginger beer. I have a little cry to myself. Oh man. That would have been a beauty. Local as well. Oh well. Let's see if we can find a whole one. This is a bit of a heartbreaker. It's cobalt blue, not to be taken. Poison bottle. I collect these, that's how I got into bottle digging in the first place, just because I'm, I like old bottles, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's a shame. Let's hope we find a whole one. As you can see, it's a shallow tip here. But I've had all that out, plus some stuff that I want to hold on to as well. Just in that small hole there, so... In there, I've sort of burrowed round into the side. What I'm going to do now is jump up on top, cave it in, and then start again, pushing forwards again, so... Hopefully we get some more finds shortly. We will see. You can hear the crunch there. There's just so much glass, so much crockery. <sighs> Try not to break stuff. It's still complete, but yeah, easier said than done, eh? Oh, scratch. Sounds like something nice, but. I mean, how do you get to it without breaking soil, you know? Alright. You get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm caving it in, alright. I just caved in, as you know. Out here. I don't know if you can see that, actually. I can see it, though. Over there. Fell this wee guy. Now... I've been looking for one of these for a while. I've been digging for a few months now and I'm absolutely buzzing because that's a cream pot with a print from Stran Ra. And I don't think at this point that it's damaged. That's amazing. Pure fresh cream. I'm really chuffed, that's made my day. Yay, look at this. Little beauty. I'm so chuffed with that. I don't know much about them, to be honest with you, so I don't know if it's a rare one or not, but it probably isn't. This is my first one, but it's a beautiful wee thing. That's going straight in my collection. I'm so chuffed. Excellent. <coughs> yeah, that's horrible and spooky, isn't it? Ooh, weird. Right, okay, I'll put him to one side. I might cut his head off and do something with him. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a wee bovro. There we go. Yeah. Bovro Limited. This is making lots of sense now, because this just came out from the top. 
and you can see on this side it's been melted so that's where the red was the top layer has been burnt but thankfully the stuff that's underneath is all fine which is good when it's not smashed <laughs> here we have a little panel bottle Yay. It's plain, clear glass. Definitely got aged there though. Nice little ball. Thought this was one big stopper at first, but it's actually a neck and a stopper. So I'll keep that stopper for another bottle and uh, the neck will go in recycling. Here we go. Just had this little inkwell out. Looks like a sheer lip where they just snipped the top off. I didn't bother actually making a proper lip for them. I'll give it a clean up, but it looks it looks complete at the moment. Nice green colour as well. Very nice. Oh, I just found two bottles in the same place. This one's a beer, and you can actually see the white there. That's one of those swing tops. So that should be quite easy to clean if it's whole. This one, I don't know what it is. It might be a beer. Looks like a beer shape, might be a plain wine or I won't know until I dig them out, but they're too far lodged in. I need to dig them out first and then I'll show you when I take them out. And here they are, out of the hole. This one is a nice colour. It's a nice amber colour, but it's plain. It's got a nice top as well. If it wants to focus. Yeah, that's nice. Plain though. And this one, it's a younger bottle from Aloha. Now, I've got some of these already, but I don't have this style. It's quite hefty. I don't know if the bottom's actually been burnt or if that's the shape of it and it's just a bit wonky, but it's cool anyway and it's still got that top in it, so yeah, that'll come home, that one. Nice one. One, two, and I think that's an inkwell as well. As well, that wasn't meant to be a pun. Right, I want to just dig him out and let you see. Okay, I've got the inkwell out. And I think it's cracked, so that's not good, but... Ooh! What a strange looking bottle. I think it's some sort of amber medicine bottle. I thought it was a beer bottle or a seltzer bottle. It's not. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Okay, I'll get the next one out now. And in the process of digging out, I found this one as well. It was in there. And here we go. This is the last one. It's still quite tight, actually. Hey. Ah, it was just a plain old green wine bottle. You can just see how densely packed this is. There's just stuff coming out the whole time. This is all plates, bits of plate. And it's so shallow. It's just below the surface. So I'm down on knee pads here. To try and get to because I don't want to I don't want to keep stooping down with a bigger fork this seems like the most logical way of doing it without doing my back in as well but yeah marmalade jar so much stuff duck just found the smallest sheer lip bottle I've ever seen absolutely tiny Thanks for joining me on the first ever episode of Dirty Secrets of Scotland. All I've got to do now is fill in this enormous hole and then I'll go home. And I'll put up some pictures of the bottles that I found today. Uh, yeah, thanks again. Cheers.